It's a jungle out there. Do 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 do. <laughs> How many people are gonna get that? Uh, welcome to uh, Custom Zombies Gun Game. This time we got the wonderful, the beautiful Chino Numa. And as you can see, I got a very chunky, chunky gun, which is from Advanced Warfare. If only I could do like the boosting and whatnot that you could do in Warfare, that'd be fun. But no, it can't. Uh, but welcome, welcome. It is shortly after Der Reisendrak, uh, which honestly was a lot easier of a time than I thought it was going to be, considering I assumed that that map was just going to keep crashing on me and whatnot, so thankfully that's done. So now all I really got to worry about is, I think, Shadows of Evil is like the only other map I got to look out for. I could potentially crash on the on the intro cutscene. But I'll have to do some testing to figure out what things work there. But I don't gotta worry about that right now. Right now, it's good old Shinonuma. Slow, 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 slow start time. Uh, fun fact, originally I had uh, the Advanced Warfare gun game on not during token uh, to start out but then uh once you know things screwed up and a bunch of recordings got corrupted and whatnot i decided to do ghosts instead and honestly by based on the reception that the video got considering it's got over 300 views within a week or not a, not within a week but within like yeah, essentially within a week, now that I think about it, if I'm just, like, like, looking over at, like, my page. Essentially, 300 views within a week? You know, it's, like, pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. And again, it's a video that's more easily consumable than most of my content, which, as you know me, I love them long, I love them... That's well, just long. What we needed. Some vodka Speaking of which, if you enjoy watching why not give that like button a little press as well as that notification oh, dinger bell as but in order to get the notification bell you need to be subscribed so why don't you subscribe because apparently i am apparently doing this now because uh, gotta make me a sellout because Apparently, a tent. I can't just make a decent enough video to get people's attention. Oh, I gotta be actively begging for it. I guess that's fine. You know, what's another thing to have to add onto the grocery list of things I need to do? Zombie cash. Ow. That yeah, I think that's a sign right for up. me to Damn shame. head on out. I'm going to quickly go to... Where is it? Is it here? That has the Wonder Fizz. Yeah, let me get just a bunch of the perks that I'm guaranteed to get. Good old Widow's Wine. That does absolutely nothing. Good old Stamina Up, which honestly on a map like this is probably good to get through the mud and whatnot. You touch me. Uh, dead shot. That's always a nice grab. Better aim, just better accuracy in general. Now I need to just get enough points to where. Yeah, there we go. Now let's now get, I think, them? Vigor Rush, right? Yep, Vigor Rush, because I think that's the only other perk that has, like, a physical bottle. I think that's the only reason, yeah. Oh that's my god, it has a perk icon! I think that's a first! It's got a perk icon, look at that! Oh, that's awesome! But anyway, yes, Advanced Warfare weapons! I like it, the guns in Advanced Warfare. I like playing Advanced Warfare zombies. Obviously not a lot, 
you know, I'll, I'll play it occasionally. Not like every, it's not like an everyday game for me. And I've only play it, played it more than World War II zombies. If not as much as Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare zombies, I, will, I go back to a lot more than Advanced Warfare. But in terms of like zombies I go back to, uh, BO3 is at the very top, followed by Cold War, then a mixture of BO1 and 2, then Infinite Warfare, then Advanced Warfare, then BO4, then World War II. I think World War II, I haven't had it installed on my Xbox in a long time, like at least a year's time, at least for now. Maybe like almost two years? I actually tried it out or since I like last attempted a, a thing. But yeah, no, it's been a heck of a while since I played World War II, which is a shame because World War II is a very serviceable game in its own right. I just never played like those those last two maps, like Orchard Path and Frozen Dawn. I never really played those. You know, it's funny. I got a I got a funny little anecdote. Uh, the the Shadow Throne, the 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 um the Berlin map, right? That that was the Berlin map, right? I remember first attempt to play the game or to play the map i couldn't figure out how to either i believe it was a, it was either turn on the power i couldn't figure out got blood on my fucking boots or just how to unlock pack punch. Just something i couldn't i didn't figure out how to do the thing the main thing like turn on everything. i think they all just exploded. so i ended up just playing the map like training in that one area with the mp40 and the the electric trap and I got to round 42 on my first game after like three to four hours of playing. And I remember just dying on round 43 and just being like, you know what? I've had my fill of this map. Even I knew like that map was not great, <laughs> but I'll still play Shadowed Throne over those other, the other two. And maybe the survival versions of the, um, uh, Tortured Path maps, because those, those can be little, fun little, uh, those can be fun little maps. If you, like, give them a try, you know, four players, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. What's the perk gonna be? <laughs> Double tap, beautiful. That would taste better if I could mix it with water. S12 is S12 go brrr. You know, zombies are getting flung away. Burn in hell, Satan's I mean, they minions. are flying, but like, you know what I mean? They're just like, don't stand a chance. Anyway, I want to go and open this up because I want to get. You said I don't have to buy Mule Kick. That's nice. E. Cola, that's good. This makes me feel fast. I prefer one. Yeah, this thing is great. God, I remember using that thing and on oh, the blunderbuss. Oh, this is so fun on this. You know what's funny? I mean, know I'm gonna get flack for this, but I like Descent. I think it's a fun map if you know what you're doing. By know what you're doing, I mean you get the trident, get the blunder of us. Oh, I love getting more than I earn. And you just train in like the spa room. It can be really fun. Especially when you get like what is I don't know what you call the mech suit, but like whatever the mech suit is. I'm feeling even stronger than you. You get that thing. Just have a little bit of fun. A little bit more fun, I should say, you know? Well, look at this thing. You know, I guess it makes sense that Vigor Rush has a perk icon, considering that I don't have Electric Cherry, and that's something I gotta remember. I am playing a... a, a World at War map. A World at War slash BO1 map. 
there is no electric cherry. Meaning that is one less extra bit of protection I have to be wary of. Which is fun. At least I got a turn zombie. Oh, I had a turn zombie. Whoopsie. God, I love it when, like, mods add stuff to, like, the World of War maps. Like, they'll add Pack-a-Punch, like, right here. And you know it was influential that, like, modders putting Pack-a-Punch there is because in, in Vanguard, in Shinonuma, in the in the Shinonuma that where you can survive, they put freaking Pack-a-Punch here too because they knew. Uh, but in Shinonuma Reborn, they, they moved it to its own special little dig site location, which I guess is cool. But like in a little survival thing where you're only allowed to play in this big, uh, this hut version, you get the Pack-a-Punch right there, which I think it's honestly pretty nice if that's a nod to like modders and whatnot, putting pack a punch there. I doubt it. But like it's fun to think. Hey look, the bulldog. A ghost weapon in advanced warfare. Because Call of Duty games used to do that. And I guess they brought it back with like M like MW capitalist. 19 to Cold War to Vanguard. I guess kinda of Vanguard. And look, the tack. This was, uh, this is also in, uh, this is also in freaking, uh, what you would call it, Ghost, but it was a different weapon. Well, it had a different skin. It has the same reload and whatnot, so it must be similar. Blood is such a pretty color! A bushy butthole. What does that mean? Who comes up with these goddamn names? Oh, the mayhem. I love this thing. Just a fun weapon. You didn't have PhD, but, like, the movement system kind of made up for it because you can, like, jump out of the way of, like, the explosive wadian... Of the expo you see them? explosive wadians. That was pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, Advanced Warfare Kai, kind of, you didn't really need PhD. Sure, you had the slam ability, but you didn't. Yeah, that wasn't really useful. That was amazing. But like, yeah, you get like that exosuit, and that was just so much fun. God, I miss. Uh, it, it, it's, I know. Weird to say, but I miss Advanced More Warfare ammo. zombies specifically. I just miss the pseudo creativity that it brought up. Like, like, some of the maps were designed with, like, exosuits in mind. Like, the first two maps, maybe not so much, but, like, you had Carrier and Descent, which both had, like, little rooms, like the cargo room, or, or like, the spawn. There's certain areas in both those maps that are just like, yeah, use your exosuit, move around, do unique things. Also, speakeasy. Hmm. Beautiful weapon. Beautiful weapon. Ew, it's a single sack three. Who uses a single sack three? Even though I think the only way to get a single sack three is to like... Oh, what's the way you get a single sack three again? It's like you had to get it out of the supply drop to get a variant. That was the only way to do it. Which is kind of stupid. Oh, hey, MP40! Oh, yeah, that's another thing. <gasps> Snail's base! You get a perk icon, too! Oh, that's wonderful! I guess I do have a little bit of protection then, I guess. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, no, that's another thing I, I found a bit... That's a thing I found a bit sad about Advanced Warfare is not a lot of the DLC, like, supply drop weapons got put into zombies. Like, sure, in Carrier and, uh... Descent, you got a you got a decent amount. You got the dual M1, M1 irons. You got the uh, the blunderbuss. You got uh, the the ohm and the and the uh, what was the other one? The A4. You got a few weapons, but 
Not a lot. Like, barely any, even. You might say. Which is kind of a shame, you know? Because it's like, some of those weapons were pretty cool. I would have liked to have used some of those weapons not having to buy billions of supply packs. They're doing you help pigs? Half a pig is better than none! And I guess BO3 then did it too, because a lot of its supply drop weapons weren't included. Infinite Warfare and World War II. Infinite Warfare was the start of them getting it right, with adding every single weapon into the box. Or not into the box, just ah, into the max. Demons. Just you get to use every weapon, especially since... I, I know this isn't technically a good thing, but just like, bear with me. The idea that if you got, bought the season pass, you could... You automatically unlocked the base variant of the weapon. So you didn't need to like, earn one out of a supply drop in order to get it. Which was honestly, I prefer that. Because World War II brought back the variant thing again, where you had to like... It's weird. You could get... In World War II, you can get like a More variant of, of a weapon out of supply it. drop, as well as the base version. But if you, um, if you got a variant version, you just got the variant version. You didn't get like the base version. So you had to unlock both if you just wanted like the normal weapon, as well as the variants. But I mean, some of those variants of weapons were pretty cool in World War II, if I'm being honest. And in Infinite Warfare 2, some of those weapons, pretty damn nice. Maybe not in, as much as Infinite Warfare, because in Infinite Warfare all you get was like the, the hexagon camo and... But then again, that hexagon camo, pretty nice camo. Especially when you got like the, the epic or legendary variants, you know, I'm stuff and that, that was pretty nice. I will admit some of the variants for weapons were pretty cool, like like with the auger, you can dual wield them and you just got so much ammo. That was pretty good. Or like the VPR, the, the freaking best SMG ever put in a video game. Like there was the variant where you can get like, oh, what was it? It was like double the rate of fire or like quadruple the rate of fire. So you just, it already burnt through so much ammo, but you could just burn through even more ammo, and it was just so much fun. To all who oppose the mighty motherland. And then I think, what was it, my favorite one, not, well not my favorite one, but like one of my favorite ones, there was this version of the NVR, which is like the M4 of that game. Yeah, no, there was a version of, oh hey PhD, there was a version of the NVR, which like, for zombies, it was, it gave you two abilities. It gave you Jackpot and it gave you like Lucky Chance. And I don't think that was its name, but Jackpot gave you so that every kill gave you 10% more points, which is always nice. Extra score and extra points are always great. But whatever, I forget the name of the perk, but Lucky Chance was if you get 150 kills in a row, you get a free perk. Screw you! Which. At the time, I'll admit, I thought it was pretty cool because I thought, oh, this is how you can get extra perks without needing to like use like the the skull and skull and ghost ghost and skulls machine. But I was wrong. You you still had the limit of five. So if you got like 300 kill, like 150 kills, and you already had five perks, you get an extra one. So while. Well, it definitely lost a bit of the factor. The fact that it's still, it's still a, neat, a neat variant, just on its own. Cool. I think you also got a... You can get a variant for guns that lets you get a nuke after a certain amount of kills. You can get, like, a carpenter. You can get a double points. Just, like, really nice stuff. It was just really creative. And you don't see, I feel like you just really don't see that anymore with certain... With these games anymore. You don't see the creativity. They want to go with more, like... Realism. I mean, I guess the master craft starting in like in like Cold War. Were there master crafts in, in MW19? I don't remember. It's just like the master craft system, I guess, is the variance, but now you gotta pay like 
30 bucks for every version, and you only get, like, two weapons. You only get, like, one Mastercraft weapon. There's only so limited. Like, for God's sakes, in Cold War, right? The rocket launchers, both rocket launchers, didn't get a single variant. Not a single goddamn variant. And I don't know why. What is it with Call of Duty games and their hatred of like For the revolution and their hatred of rocket launchers? Like I get it. The grenade launchers in like the Modern Warfare games would be OP. The rocket launchers in like old the old Black Ops titles could be OK. Especially okay, especially when running danger closes, you know? Could be very much okay. But like, why is it now that future games have to like suffer the consequences of not getting cool rocket launchers? You know, just because they don't want you overusing it. I mean, for God friggin' sake, BO4, we only had a single rocket launcher. We didn't get a, another grenade or explosive weapon the entire life cycle of that game. I feel like we would have if, you know, year two would have, you know, panned out, but like, come on, that's just embarrassing. I also, technically, now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't get a single secondary besides, we only got the L4 Siege for, uh, BO3, but that was only available on GoRod, and then in most, in like, the BO1, uh, maps. Crazy. Like, come on. Like, sure, that's nice, but there's no PhD. So, like, who's gonna use it? I mean, yeah, sure, it was very powerful, especially against, like, the Panzer and the Manglers, but then again, I feel like that, the weapons, like, coding was designed specifically for that, so, like, that's not really, like, a, a pro if it was, like, designed to do that. It's like, we got stuff like the China Lake and whatnot. Give me the China Lake. Anyway, I think I'm rambling on points that I think I've already covered. See, this is the problem with recording videos that are never going to see the light of day. I have no idea if what I'm talking about has already been covered, if I've already talked about this or not. In, in one of the, the failed recordings, I legitimately don't know. Like, this is gonna either be really fun, like, discussion to talk about, or I'm just repeating myself, which I tend to do a lot because I usually don't have a lot to talk about. So honestly, I guess for some people that's fine. Some people don't really talk a lot. I don't really like to talk. But at the same time, I feel like I want to, I want to be more engaged with like people. I want to, I want to try to talk more. I want to bring more to conversations because I am very much that kind of person where I'm like, I'm the member of a group, doesn't really say much, but just kind of contributes by just being there. Lucifer, if you've been on the I'm internet and you've you. seen like groups or. I guess, what were they, content houses? You know the type of person I'm talking about. The one that's like, they're not really as, well, quote unquote, talented as like the other members of said group, but they just added this up. a lot just by being there and just being like sort of the, the, the energy, bringing the mood of like the room like up, I guess. So I guess I'm good at that, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want that to be like my sole trait. I want to be able to, like, hold a conversation. I want to be able to, you know, have my own kind of personality. So at the very least, I'm hoping that by speaking more in these videos and trying to discuss more, hopefully I can bring out more of, like, my innate personality. I don't even know what that would be, because I don't even know if I have a personality. I'm surprised anybody would watch these things. I can be very boring sometimes. But you know what? I like boring. If other people like boring too... Alright. Points are overrated. The fun really counts. Death to all who oppose the mighty motherland. There we go. 
Let's see. Ah, oh, the XMGs. I wish these were in zombies. I mean, they are. The auger variant I talked about, or I mentioned earlier. That's essentially, essentially these. Infinity was like, hey, Sledgehammer kind of cucked you guys. Don't worry, we got gotcha. you. Hey, this is the, the death machine power-up sometimes in uh, Advanced Warfare mods. Or Advanced Warfare weapons. Like, yeah, this, Teresa May and Meaningful Votes. I don't... I don't fully understand the reference, but... Oh, yeah, this thing was cool because it had, a uh, Yeah, shotgun mode. Mark two, there's three weapons. Oh, are they gonna give me the Wonder Watch? That'll be an easy final round. Well, at least that's like different. At least that's different than the usual affair of just, oh, they give you the regular ray gun. I gotta remember, the Oak uh, Zombies Chronicles, ray gun in Mark two. And I can just kinda maneuver my way into some training, oh, get some headshots. Now you see them, now you don't. There we go. Die, you hell pigs! Well, since we're nearing the end, I think it's about that time I should, I guess, re-emphasize re the, the liking and the subscribing and ring-a-dinging the, the bell and... Now you you know, see so now you maybe know. if you want to support me, join the membership. You get a few emotes. I, I think I mentioned this last time, but I didn't really go into detail, you know, because that's me and rambling. But I'll I'll do something with memberships, but for now, I guess color. they're just a way if you want to support me. There's only now one tier, and it's a dollar. And you can do it through, like, either Google Play or Apple Store or whatever. Is which is why I'm doing that instead of going to, like, Patreon or Ko-Fi or whatever. Because I feel like if I want people to, like, monetarily support me, I want them to do it in as, like, a... in as low effort of a way as possible. You can cancel at any time, I guess. Blood is such a pretty color. You know, so... I'm gonna make it easy for you. So if for whatever reason... You like my content enough to where you want to, like, monetarily support me besides just, like, giving my videos watch time. You know, send a buck my way. I don't know. I feel like absolute dog shit having to say that kind of thing, because it's like... It's like, why do I need to do that? Like, if I want this hobby to, like, be, like monetarily valuable. Why doesn't YouTube just make it so that there's more tools so that I can, like, better monetize my videos? Because, like, I know I could just put ads in, more ads in. Like, yeah, that's gonna solve the problem. But, like, there should be other ways than having to, like, essentially beg subscribers or beg viewers to, like, subscribe and whatnot. I mentioned that before in the Horizon Direct video that I just recorded, but... I feel like there should be, like, more options than begging. Yeah, but then again, I guess that's sort of a landscape we're in, so I guess if you can't fight it, you gotta join it, so... You touch me. Speaking of fighting it, the... Look at all this hey, I can get some Wonderwalk kills. That adds the ray gun kill total. That's kind of neat. I hope when I get to stuff like... Uh, stuff like Ascension, where I get, like, the Thunder Gun. 
I know Verruckt is gonna have the Wonder Walk again. Which I eat your soul, nice. Elfon. I know what I'm doing for Verruckt. What I'm doing for Ascension. I know what I essentially know what I'm doing for the rest of them. So I can't wait for the next time where. Next time, hopefully, gonna be something a little tiny bit interesting. Where was everyone else? Because it's gonna be a little bit different, and I'm hoping that it goes about as well as I hope it will. One thousand points to go. I'm gonna turn on the flogger. You know for. Good old time, for good old time's sake. Look at it go. Look at it swing. Look at that thing swing. Getting some kills, which is nice. But is it gonna mean anything? Ultimately, not really. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.